Okay, what is something you learned while writing one of your stories? I learned an awful lot of riddles <laughs> while I was writing the eagle's nest. In fact, I have one for you. It's going to appear in chapter 70, which is the final chapter and is already mostly written. At night, they come without being fetched. By day, they are lost without being stolen. Don't look up the answer on Google. If you know it, you can comment it. <laughs> I spent so much time looking up riddles, oh my god. Um, for those of you who haven't read it, it is a story where Hermione and Draco are both resorted for their eighth year, and they both end up in Ravenclaw. And um, as we know, canonically, the year is a guardian at the door that asks you a riddle every time you want to enter Ravenclaw Tower, and if you do not answer it correctly, you are not allowed to enter. So as I was looking at riddles, I would pretty consistently not look at the answer and try to see if I could figure it out. Also would kind of help me determine how hard it was um, for the story. Then the answer is I'm not very good at riddles. <laughs> which brings me to the next question, which is what is your Hogwarts house? And the answer is unequivocally Hufflepuff. <laughs> Every single sorting quiz I've ever told or taken has been Hufflepuff. So that's my house. Better. Have you um, ever received a negative review and how do you deal with it? I think that we've all received our share of negative reviews. Never fun. For me though, it depends on how it's negative because there's a big difference between being awful and offering constructive criticism. And there's a somewhat gray area in the middle where someone thinks they're offering constructive criticism and they did it in an extremely rude way. Um, so I think how you deal with all of those things is very different. I've only ever blocked one person for leaving me a slew of just awful reviews and the person I think probably thought they were falling into that gray area. Maybe they even were, but for the most part I try to look at them critically and see if there's a point to what the person is saying because if they are just being rude about something that I legitimately could have done better or that I legitimately made a safe mistake on. I would like to fix the mistake. I would like to be aware of my shortcomings. 